So today we're going to be talking about an event which could or could not lead into World War 3. This has just happened within an hour ago of me recording this. I'm currently recording this on Tuesday at 11.15 at 4.30 p.m. Just in case you needed to know. But uh, Russian missiles have struck Poland. So this is going to be interesting covering this. Now before everyone freaks out or everyone doesn't freak out, just know that there is no response yet. Or even if there will be a response, we're not sure yet. I'm going to go into that today. But before we do get started, make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel if you're brand new. We're pushing for 100k by the end of this year. But anyway, let's go ahead and talk about this event which could lead into World War III. So just to break it down, Russian missiles, which we're not 100% sure if it's Russian missiles or shrapnel, or maybe it's like a Ukrainian air defense missile. But nonetheless, something entered into Poland and struck a Polish village, which killed two people. It's one thing if the missiles just struck Poland on ground, but two people died. And that is going to be probably a big deciding factor on the consequence of this event. So if it was a Ukrainian air defense system or missile, then this is not this is nothing's going to happen because Ukraine is a NATO ally. They're not going to declare war on Ukraine for a mistake. But if this was a Russian missile or a Russian shrapnel, then the consequences or response could be much different. So as of now, the Pentagon is holding a um, investigation into this event. Poland's holding their own as investigation, and NATO is having an emergency meeting. And just to clarify that this is most likely a mistake and not intentional, the missile landed like right here so if it was a mistake then it's a mistake uh the response from nato could vary i don't if it's just a mistake i highly doubt that we're gonna go to war with russia over it but if it's intentional and you know it would be weird if it is intentional because if you're gonna strike poland then just go for a major city but if it is intentional we'll probably end up fighting russia maybe i don't know this event is really unfolding right now no one is 100 percent sure on what has happened also i'm just now thinking i'm probably going to upload this tuesday today when you're seeing this and not have a video on wednesday that kind of just makes it easier for me so i can record tomorrow and then edit thursday and get a video posted saturday so you will be seeing this video on tuesday and um, it's after my upload deadline but i'll just post this as soon as i can and hopefully it doesn't take too long to edit either because i have a lot of stuff that i need to do and this is the perfect event to take place where i can just quickly wrap something up post it and then do my tons of homework that i have to do let's go ahead and take a look at this article here which was by usa today so u.s investigating reports that russian missiles landed in nato member poland killing two people and this has been updated uh as of like eight minutes ago so uh, currently of course they are looking into this we're not 100 percent sure what happened yet but we do have a slight feeling that it was a missile strike either intentional or unintentional we don't know the u.s is investigating reports that russian missiles crossed in the nato member poland killing two people so these strikes obviously happened today uh senior u.s intelligence official uh, according to them and uh, we're still, like I said, for the, like the fifth time now, we're looking into it. It has also been confirmed by someone else on the AP that this was apparent. It is a mu Russian missile strike. So we are leaning towards it being a Russian missile and not a Ukrainian missile or air defense system. So if we're going to have to flip the uh, pointer, we're going to probably flip it to Russia. Now, once we get over there, you know, World War III is probably like down here, if you can imagine a little uh, like a scale thing. I don't know how to explain it. But like, okay, so it's Russia that did it. We're a little bit over. Is it intentional or unintentional? If it's unintentional, we're gonna take it a little bit more. But if it is intentional, World War Three. Now, now when I say World War Three, I don't actually mean a full, full-scale conflict in the entire world. Most likely, Russia and Belarus versus NATO would be the outcome. Maybe Iran gets involved. Um, China is probably not gonna do anything. We're trying to fix tensions with China right now, but it's China, so you never know how that's gonna go. But I, I, I'm fairly confident that China would not join in on this. So World War Three, sort of, uh, NATO versus Russia and its allies. So as it says here, not immediately clear whether the missile was accidentally strayed into Poland or whether Poland was deliberately targeted. If it was deliberately tar targeted by Russia, like I said, that activates NATO Article 5, we go to war. If it isn't intentional, then I think we have to go into like a, um, an, a special investigation phase and it's up to Poland whether they want to activate it or not, but I'm pretty sure, according to NATO, that you have it has to be a deliberate attack. Now, if you accidentally drop a nuke on Poland and you kill thousands of people and you say, it wasn't my fault, obviously that's intentional, but in this case, it's just two people. Now, I say only two people. Of course, these are other people in the world. Their lives matter. But, you know, since the casualty count was low and um, it was in a village in the border, 
Russia, if it was intentional, has a slight chance of getting away with it. If it's unintentional, they're fine. Now, this missile reportedly entered Poland as Russia pounded Ukraine's energy facilities with its biggest barrage of missiles yet, striking targets across the country and causing widespread blackouts. So this right here leads us into the fact that it is most likely unintentional if it's from Russia. And then we kind of get away from the World War III thing and we're looking more on sanctions, maybe increased military presence, or stuff like that. According to a spokeswoman from the National Security Council, uh, the Biden administration is working with the Polish government. We cannot confirm the reports or any of the details at the time. Watson wrote on Twitter, we will determine what happened and what the appropriate next steps would be. So of course, if either way, there's gonna be consequences for Russia if it was them. Like I said, going back to the pointer thing, if it was unintentional, little slap on the wrist. If it's intentional, there's a, a war, most likely. So what this article saying is unconfirmed, I'm going to go ahead and trump that and say that it is confirmed at this time. Of course, Russian has denied being behind any strikes and targets near the Ukrainian-Polish border, and um, they saying they had nothing to do with it. So that's... I mean, Russia said that stuff before. They said they weren't going to invade Ukraine, and here we are. But um, I don't know. The fact that they said in this statement that near the Ukrainian-Polish border, that brings up a little speculation for myself, because if you weren't doing anything near the border, how did something end up in Poland? And of course, people can point the finger at Ukraine doing this to try to get NATO involved. That's a possibility, and I'm not going to rule it out, but I highly doubt that would be the approach they take, because if you think about it, our satellites, our technology our understanding and acknowledgement of the world and that area in particular with all the satellites and war going on i think ukraine know knows they would they would get caught if they tried to do that and then you know they get all their uh funding cut and they fall to russia so i don't think it's in russia's best interest to do that so according to Zelensky, russia fired 85 missiles most of them uh at our energy uh infrastructure so they're targeting energy i don't think that's a war crime and if it isn't then it probably should be because that affects civilian life so yeah there isn't a uh there's not a stark response yet and that could mean something. And I'm not gonna like wrap up conspiracies here, but they're not responding. They're like, okay, we're not gonna answer any questions. That means that they might be looking into like a, a response, but they just probably 99%, they just don't know yet. And then we're going on. Asked whether he thought it might be an incident that would trigger NATO Article 5. Writer said again, as I'm sure you can appreciate, I'm not going, I'm not gonna speculate about potential ifs and thens. I'm going to deal with the facts, and so let's get the facts, and then we'll go from there. Ryder did say he believes U.S. government is confident in its current force posture in Poland regarding U.S. troops stationed there. So they're confident in their ability to defend Poland, is what he's basically saying. When it comes to force protection, we always take the safety and security of our troops, no matter where they're serving, very seriously. And so we're confident in any force protection measures that we take, whether it be Poland or elsewhere. But again, we're not going to go ahead of ourselves here. We're going to take, we're going to get the facts, and we're going to have. I'm very bad at reading today. And when we have more to provide, we will. Thank you. So uh, once again, we're working on this case right now. I don't have any live updates. I can check Twitter, but that's Twitter. Let's go. Here's a tweet here. I mean, obviously you can see the source. Pentagon press secretary. We have been crystal clear that we will defend every inch of NATO territory. So there's that reinforcement statement saying that we will protect NATO. Here's the Associated Press. Um, nothing looks as if it's uh, about the whole situation. So here's another thing here. Um, a second person told the Associated Press that the apparent Russian missiles struck at a site in Poland about 15 miles from the Ukrainian border. Of course, that is according to a second person. There's no confirmed source for that. But if it was 15 miles from the border, then we're talking about, you know, 15 miles. That's, I, I don't speak the rest of the world. That's 24 kilometers, which isn't too far, but it's far enough to where you think that it might be a, a, a force strike and one that's targeted. Like I said, this is probably going for the 10th time now that nothing is confirmed yet. Everyone's still looking into it and the information is going to come as it comes. So that's going to do it for this video right now. Um, I know that it kind of, wasn't very much of a video, but I do like to inform you guys on these big world events. I did it when the Ukrainian war broke out. I went live for that actually, because that is such a huge event in today's era. And of course I'm more of a geopolitical YouTuber than I am a mapping YouTuber. In my opinion, I just like to put geopolitical events into the map so I can better illustrate it for you guys. So yeah, I guess that's where I kind of uh, draw the line for myself. I don't know. Also, I got a new world map, so uh, no more weird red outline, but there's a lot of islands now. So let me just go ahead and break down the four conclusions that I have from this. So number one, 
Uh, it was Ukraine that shot the missile into Poland deliberately. Uh, no funding for Ukraine and they're going to fall to Russia. Okay, possibility number two is it was Ukrainian, but it was unintentional. Nothing happens to Ukraine. They keep getting their support. Maybe some countries might want to try to stop support for them. But other than that, they're going to get the full support they still have. If it was Russia and accidental, you could be looking at a lot of different factors. I think the most likely would be a uh, increase in military buildup on the border of Belarus and Russia. And then, of course, maybe sanctions. I don't know if they're still doing sanctions. I mean, of course, they still the sanctions they put in place are still there. Don't know if they are going to implement any more. So yeah, if that was accidental, then nothing too like majorly responsive. But if it isn't intentional, then we're going to have something that looks a little bit like, um, we'll, we'll just do that, ignore everything over here, but we're going to have something that looks a little bit like this. And of course, if you want to survive, that's not a good thing because Russia's already threatened to use nukes. Uh, well, I say Russia, but Vladimir Putin has threatened to use nukes. Russia's system for launching nukes is a little bit different from ours. In the US, we just say, the president just says, launch a nuke, there it goes. In Russia, the uh, individual operators of the nuclear silos, they have to get the go to fire the missiles. So Vladimir Putin could say to fire the missiles and none of his generals do it because they don't want to die. That's 100% possible, but we are still going to have those people falling into effect from the strongman effect from Putin. So they're going to press the button. Uh, hopefully a war doesn't break out, but as soon as we get more information that is um, leaning towards a war, I will post another video either today or tomorrow. If we get information that says that it was an accidental, nothing major, then I'm not going to post another video. I'll probably like put a segment in Saturday's video just talking about it real quick. But if it's nothing major, then no more video until Saturday. And yeah, so that's going to end it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you um, if you felt informed from this video, make sure to leave a like on it. And subscribe to the channel if you're new. Once again, we are aiming for 100,000 subscribers by the end of this year. And it is November 15th. We have a month and a half to get there. We are almost at 80k, so thank you guys for the growth lately. And uh, 80k, I've been thinking about doing a daily upload week for that, but I just don't know if I have the capacity to do that yet. So there most likely won't be a special for 80k, and I apologize for that. Um, 90k, 100% will be a daily upload week because that is like the final stretch to 100k. And you know, is if we slam over more videos, more subscribers, get there faster, end of the year, all that good stuff. So once again, subscribe. Uh, 80k special still in the air and i'll see you guys in the next video which hopefully isn't today or tomorrow and is hopefully on saturday